After I posted the Violet Pegasus review, I received a lot of questions through Instagram and Facebook regarding the performance and how will this model compare to Boosted Rev, the Wide Wheel Pro and smaller commuting scooters 1000 watts or under for portability. Riders express concerns about suspension, reliability, quality and ease of use. I have passed 103 kilometers and range and less than the following two weeks after the review and I'd like to go over the detail and share with you how this model is holding up and performing after the initial review. I also only did the range test on the third speed with both motors engaged and several viewers asked me after how about the range test on a single motor only. Getting back in comparison between Rev and Pegasus, yes, Rev has more refined design and feels higher quality. But lately so many riders complain all over Facebook groups and Reddit about the Rev batteries and BMS issues. Since Boosted is out of business, there's no way to fix them. On the other hand, Varla has been on the market for close to two years now and I only heard good things about them so far. And I personally had an amazing experience with them, so to me choosing Pegasus is an option that's more compelling. And not just because of the good customer service. The coil suspension in Pegasus plays a big role. The ride is so much smoother than Rev. It is very close to Mantis feel. Riding boosted Rev over the cracks and manholes, I always had my finger slipping off the acceleration wheel. Very annoying. On the other hand, Pegasus suspension, it is a pleasure to ride. Pegasus gets 27 miles an hour top speed and dual mode and 24-25 miles an hour on a single mode. On the Rev I get maximum 24 miles an hour when the battery is full and after it dies down. Range and dual mode at maximum speed I got between 13 to 15 miles on flats. On a single mode with a third speed setting I was able to cover today over 20 miles on range. I weighed 220 pounds and it was a cold evening. Temperature was at 57 degrees in Fahrenheit or 13 degrees in Celsius. On a warmer day I would have gotten a few more miles. If you're under 200 pounds you'll get over 30 miles. I had the throttle at the maximum speed at all times. Performance is so much better compared to Rev, where I get between 7 to 9 miles on maximum speed, which is only about 24 miles an hour. I am super happy with this model and performance levels. For city commuting, this is one of the best options for me. If I need to go for a longer ride and with faster speeds, then I'll just grab Nami. Regarding reliability, so far no issues and the scooter has over 130 kilometers and everything works perfectly well. Nothing came loose, no rattle, feels solid comfortable and powerful, very nimble scooter. The solid tires are a really cool option for those that don't want to mess with swapping tubes. Acceleration is powerful in dual mode, but in single mode it's slow, gradual and smooth. I think average rider or even your grandma will be able to ride it and have fun and be safe on a single mode. Also guys, in closing, I would like to let you know that Varla will have big discounts for Black Friday. And that's starting November 11th. The first 200 buyers will get $200 discount on the scooter purchase. The remaining buyers will get a $100 discount and the handlebar bag. So check it out starting today. Also please use the link I added in the description box. It is an affiliate link that will help this channel grow and bring more objective EV reviews for you. Make sure you always wear a helmet, ride safe, Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.